Peace. I just wanted to take the moment to build on the idea of this whole misconception of Valentine's Day. Um, a lot of times, you know, people wait around for this specific day in the month of February, February 14th. And, um, you know, a lot of people get a misconstrued idea of what they think Valentine's is. You know, they think it's a day of, you know, love and affection. This little man walking around, Cupid's arrow, shooting people. They all feeling all lovely, doubly, and sending you flowers and chocolates and wanting to get it in and all that. Well, one thing I have to say about that, there's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that, feeling loved and wanted and special and cherished and you know, appreciate it as a woman. And, uh, you know, sometimes that can be, that's a good thing. But just for you to wait on it for one day, that's where the problem comes in. Because feeling love, cherished, and feeling special should be every single day that you're with that person. It shouldn't be one day out of the week where you don't feel that type of love. You don't feel the unconditional love without any motives. Without any intentions, bad intentions that is, without any determined idea. And women nowadays kind of get this misconstrued idea of, you know, Valentine's Day coming up. My boo's going to buy me something nice. He's going to get me something. And, you know, we're going to sit down and have dinner and chocolates and all this other stuff. But really, in reality, you setting yourself up for just one day. What about 364 other days? What about those days where you're still supposed to feel loved, cherished, and appreciated, and respected, and adorned? You got to look at it like that. You can't just be a person who feels that, okay, this day comes up, I'm feeling appreciated and adorned, but then the other 364 days, he's treating me like an asshole. Or he's saying he loves me, but he's doing the total opposite. You know, today's math is knowledge culture all being born to power. And the knowledge culture agree in the 1 to 40 asks who's the 85%. And it says they are the uncivilized people. Poisonous animal eaters, slaves of mental death and power. Those who do not know the true and living God and their origin in the world. And worship what they know not. Those who are easily led in the wrong direction. But hard to lead in the right direction. And, you know, that degree specifically telling you the mentality that a person with no type of civilization or not even civilized has, you know. Um, they would take a lot of things at face value. They would uh, fall victim to almost anything and become enslaved to it. You know, they will be slaves of mental death and power because of the simple fact of they don't know the power that they have within themselves. You know, knowledge of culture is all being born of power. Power is the truth. And the truth of the matter is, you as a woman, you should never feel just appreciated and adorned for one day. Valentine's Day. And besides, if you really do the history of Valentine's, you will see what's going on, what's happening, and what's taking place. You feel me? You'll know the truth about this person that you say that you love and you care about. You'll know all that. Because why? Because knowledge is to know. Knowledge is to look, listen, observe, and also respect. And it is the foundation of all things. Culture is a way of life. So if you truly love this person and this person truly loves you, just watch how they live and they'll tell you the truth about themselves. Whether they love you or not. And not just for one day. You know, so I just wanted to get that idea out of the minds of black women, original women especially, because, you know, it's like you have to walk up to a man to feel appreciated and him buy yourself to feel appreciated and want it. That should be a 365 day, 366 plus a leap year, all year round thing. This shouldn't just be one day. Feeling special is feeling special all the time. It's it's when the man comes into your life 
and he makes you smile just for no reason, just for you smiling. You know, he puts a smile on your face. You know, when you think about him, that's what you feel special about. When you can have those type of thoughts about this type of person, not just a hey, Valentine's Day. I'm getting my chocolates. I'm getting it in. You know, we gonna have fun. We gonna take me out to dinner. We gonna talk. It shouldn't just be one day. Just know that for sure. Cause if it's just one day, they can only lead up to one night, and one night can lead to one heart being broken, and that's the truth. And I know that a lot of people, you know, they look at my channel and they see that, oh yeah, he's talking about this, he's talking about that. But I'm not here to have the most views. I'm not here to have the most likes or dislikes. I'm not here. I'm just here stressing a point that if you don't take heed to what's going on, you can easily be a victim of it. If you don't listen to... You don't listen, observe, or pay attention to what's going on and analyze and break it down. That could that thing could easily scar you. You could easily become a victim of what? Mental death and power. Because you would think that this is what it is, and then reality is not. So overall, today's Valentine's Day. All I'm saying, woman. Don't get caught up in just one day. Feel special every day. If your man loves you enough, he won't care about this day too. You know why? Because he won't wait for this day to come. Because he'll already be doing his duties of treating you special, adorning you, appreciating you, and loving you for who you are. And that's the truth. And that's today's math. Power is the truth. Love is a powerful thing. The truth of love is that it is the most highest form of understanding. And elevating. You know, it's not just one day. Love is the highest form of understanding. But man and woman come together and brings forth a supreme understanding. Peace.